Never underestimate what a few high school students can do to fight human trafficking. Two extraordinary students are stopping at nothing to let people know the realities of trafficking here in our state. WNCN's Eileen Park is live in the studio to explain. Eileen. Sean, they tell me it all started a few years ago when they learned that human trafficking is not just a problem outside of the country, but a problem right here in North Carolina. After that, it became their mission to let others know about it, too, and also to do something about it. I learned that this wasn't a one in a million oddity or a crazy circumstance, but this is all around us. Emily Davis, along with her friend Rachel Porter, are both juniors at Cary High. Right now, they're raising money to send three victims of human trafficking to school. Why are you so passionate about human trafficking? We should really make it a priority to fight for those who don't have the opportunity to do things for themselves. Davis says when she was a first year, she met a girl who was trafficked. If she didn't sleep with enough men in one week, she would be severely starved and beaten for the next week. That sudden exposure to the reality of trafficking is what inspired her and her friends to do something about it. That's when it really hit home for me. And I realized that if I'm lucky enough to have this life, that I should fight for their lives. The perpetrators are very clever and they do keep it out of sight for us. Dale Alton works for Project Fight with the Salvation Army and says North Carolina is one of the worst states when it comes to human trafficking. Due to the wonderful highway system through it, um, the coastal areas. So you decided to do something about this. We want to do anything we can to bring salvation to their hearts and their minds. Online classes for college are substantially cheaper than anything else. So like a college, a victim could earn their GED just by online. Hmm. Extraordinary, right? So far they've raised $200 and their goal is $1,200. To find out how you can donate, go to WNCN.com right now. Sean. Truly.